Hello everyone! Congratulations on buying the Falkor bundle! In this video I am going to show you how you can install the Falkor bundle, how to activate it and I am going to give you a brief information on how to customize it. If you haven't purchased the Falkor bundle yet and you are here just because you are curious to see how the Falkor bundle looks like, let me walk you around. Uh, this layout I have loaded right now. Uh, it's one of the home Falker layouts and I think it's really beautiful. It has these great animations. Of course this is only one of the many uh, layouts you can find in this bundle. I really like this slider. I think this animation is super. And here's the contact form really great as well. Also there is a Falker demo page on our website. Go ahead and check the other layouts that are there in the pack. And if you decide to get it, get back to this video and watch how to, uh, how to install it. Now let me jump to installation uh, steps. First thing we want to do is to uh, install the plugin of course. For that you want to go to plugins, then click add new and upload plugin. Click browse button and navigate to files you downloaded. There find Falker assistant plugin. Uh, zip and click open. Then click install now button. Wait until the plugin is installed. And there we go. Then click activate plugin to activate the plugin. After that you will have to enter API key. You will see this message here. Click click here link. And uh, you will have to fill in this information here. API key and API email. If you don't know where to find that, uh, here are the instruction. You can go to uh, my account and under API keys page you will find this information. Go there, copy uh, the information you need and paste it here. After that click save changes. Once done uh, you will see this message that Falker Assistant has been successfully activated. Next thing we want to do is to import uh, all the layouts and all the layouts are uh, contained in JSON file uh, and that you can find that file among the files you downloaded. You want to go to DV and DV library page. Here click import and export button. Select import and then choose file. Find the JSON file, select it and click import button. I already did that so uh, I won't be doing it again. Once you're done with that you will see Falker bundle uh, layouts listed in DV library. After you have imported all the layouts you can load them on your page. Go to the page and click load layout button. Here choose your saved layouts tab and select Falker bundle on your left. When you tick that it will filter all the Falker layouts. Choose among uh, the layouts. I'm going to choose homepage layout and click update page. And when you go to view page, you'll see your layout loaded. There we go. Uh, that's the layout I showed you earlier. Also, you would like to know, of course, how you can customize the layout and how you, can you change the colors. Obviously, uh, by default, we use this blue color, and you may want your website to have the green accent color or red or any other. For that, go to the editor and let's first uh, change the color of these lines here. Those are these locked uh, modules and to edit them you have to click the lock icon to unlock them. And 
you can see that once you unlock the module then you can uh, click the edit or module settings button go to settings and then select advanced tab scroll down and inside mine element box you will see background color change this to let's say green for this example save the module I'm going to do that for other lines as well all right I have edited all the lines now I'm going to update the page and let's preview and as you can see our lines are now green also of course you can change the text color for that simply go to uh, text settings text module settings select the design tab and change the title text color I'm going to choose the green color and let's update and preview and there we go all right we have this line here that is still blue let's see how we can change that I'm going to use developer tools to find it out let's see all right here it is I'm going to copy this CSS and paste it in page settings custom CSS box here I'm going to change the color to green let's save and update the page if you're not sure what I just did don't worry because in the next video we will cover customization more into details that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching